Today we are gonna make some sick slow motion just like this. This effect is actually incredibly easy to do. There's a few random little caveats to this. First, you need to already have shot in slow motion. Biggest advice while shooting slow motion is to actually have a slightly faster shutter speed than what you would normally shoot with. This would just make your footage just a little bit more crisp and a little bit easier for the AI of the DaVinci Resolve to go ahead and help your clips become hyper slow motion, super slow motion, if you will. The second thing is make sure you have images that have high contrast. For example, both the clips that I'm using were shot at 120. There's a lot of contrast happening between the subject that's going to be that we're slowing down and the rest of the image. So this will actually be a lot easier on your computer if you're trying to do this is just find images that are a little bit more contrasty and sharp. It'll help you make these super slow motion. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over to our clip and we're going to cut where we want to start the slow motion. So if I go ahead and cut this clip, and this is where I want the slow motion to begin, and that is looking beautiful for me. I'm gonna go ahead and click the clip, press R to bring up your clip speed, come over here and bring it down to 10%. Now, it's gonna be hella choppy right here, like the dark swirling seas. All we have to do at this point now is come down here to our retime and scaling. Open up retime and scaling, and the first thing you need to do is change this to optical flow. Once we've changed it to optical flow, you'll see that this is much, much smoother, but it's not perfect just yet. As we go up, we got some blurring going on and all that fun jazz. All we have to do here is gonna be something that will absolutely ruin your computer's processing power. Come over here to your project settings on motion estimation and click AI speed warp better. Now, when you click that, your computer basically just crashes. It won't even work anymore. It's absolutely ludicrous. Now, in order to actually use this clip so it's editable, I want you to go ahead and right click it, come up here and press render in place. That way, you won't have to be using a lot of processing power on all the effects that we just put on this clip. So let's go ahead and click render in place. I'm just gonna do the standard QuickTime ProRes, Apple ProRes 422, and press render. Look at that buttery, smooth, slow motion. It's, it's it's beautiful, it's gorgeous. You don't need a pick spoon, you don't need nothing. You don't need a fancy camera. Just sh something that shoots 120. And now you can get hyper slow motion. After you have your clips all rendered in place, what we need to do is edit them. Make them fancy, make them cool, make them pop, if you will. Because every client loves to tell you, can you make it pop? All we need to do is do some speed ramping and then some sound design and then whoppamo, we've got that pop, baby. So what I'm gonna do is from right here, I'm gonna go forward until he hits, hits that really high point, I'm gonna press Command R on my keyboard to bring up the read time speed. Click this, add a speed point. I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna change this speed to 800. And you can see now it's at 800%, which isn't quite fast enough for what I want just yet. We just have to click this little button right here, pull up your keyframes, and we're gonna smooth out this transition and also just make it a little bit faster. So I'm gonna drag this up until we get to about 1500, 1700 will be fine. Click this, we're gonna ease and ease out. Let's go ahead and move into this. Now on this handle, you can pull this to smooth out your speed ramping. Just grab right here, press shift, and bring this in because I want this to be fast all the way through. Then as soon as it hits, I want a nice gradual movement out. So if we press shift and pull this out, now we're gonna have ourselves a nice gradual movement. And honestly, looks like I want this to be faster. Perfect, and that's nice and smooth. That is looking great. Let's go ahead and do that same thing with the other clip. But this one, we want it to be speed ramping out. So I already have it speed ramping. I'm gonna really quickly just do it again. Go ahead and press R. Let's just change this back to 100, replace, and bring that clip back out. So right about here is where I want that speed ramp to start again. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Command R, click this little button, add a speed point, and then I'm going to change this speed to 800%. Of course, I need it to be a little bit faster. I'm just gonna bring it up to 1500 to begin with and just see how that works for me. Open up your keyframes down here. And if you can't see the graph editor, just click the keyframes curve right here and make sure you've clicked your keyframe. And I like to use the read time speed. Some people like the read time frame. Totally up to you. Play with them, see what you like. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this, 
come over to here to ease in, ease out. I'm going to bring this handle closer because I want this speed to be consistent. I'm going to bring this out so it has a nice smooth gradient into that speed ramp. Let's go ahead and see how that looks. Not quite fast enough, so let's pick this up just a little bit. Pick up the pace, you know? And there we go. Still a little bit faster. We are, this is slow, so we need to go fast. And maybe, honestly, I'm going to just drag this keyframe a little bit farther this way and drag out this clip. Nice. And maybe even just lower that ramp a little bit so it doesn't go. It doesn't take nearly as long. Perfect. That is looking great for me. Now that we have these two clips put together, the easiest way that I like to do is just add a couple whooshes, especially if you're using slow motion. The sound effect that I love hearing is like a heartbeat. So you can like, you're like anticipating the slow motion. So my sound design work is always pretty simple. I'm going to be trying to use sound design to elevate all of the imagery. And so if we look over here really quick, this is the sound design that I have created. All it is really is a few bass drops because we're entering a new world. We're entering slow motion. It's a few bass drops, a camera click, and a heartbeat that is showing off the slow motion. So let's go ahead and take a listen. And then the very end is actually a card passing by really fast. It's just like a fun extra little sound effect that you can add. And then I think also a mountain biker because in the next scene in the commercial that I was making, a mountain biker comes by. That is how you create epic slow motion inside of DaVinci Resolve. And everybody, just get out there and make some cool stuff and show it off to the world. Thanks for watching. Love you. Bye.